This is Into Math 3rd Grade Lesson 9.4. Use mental math to assess reasonableness. I can use mental math to determine the reasonableness of statements and answers. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 254. We will start under Build Understanding Part 1 and you can pause anytime as needed. A market has 53 cans of fruit and 44 cans of vegetables for sale. Rachel says that there are about 140 cans for sale. Is Rachel's statement reasonable? Let's start by reviewing the word reasonable. Reasonable means that we can verify the answer um, by either estimating or solving the equation. So keeping that in mind, we see that there were 53 cans of fruit and there are 44 cans of vegetables. And Rachel is saying that that means there's about 140 cans of food for sale based on those numbers. So it's our job to check that and see if the statement is reasonable. Let's look at part A. Part A says, how can you use the number line to show your thinking? Let's start by putting the numbers on the number line. We have 53, so we can say that 53 would be about here. So I'll make a dot on the line for 53. And 44 would be about here, so I'll make a dot for 44. So using this number line, I'm gonna be looking to see what is the closest uh, 10 that these numbers go to. So 44 is pretty close to 50, so we could round 44 to say that that's 50, and the 53 is actually pretty close to the 50 as well. So if we're estimating, we're saying, um, we have 50 and 50, which make 100. So Rachel's statement that there are 140 cans is not close to our um, estimation that we found using the number line. So let's take a look at part B. How does your thinking compare to Rachel's statement? We can explain our thinking first by saying, I found that there were 100 cans of food for sale, and Rachel says there are about 140 cans of food for sale. Next, we can compare the difference. Her guess was 140, and we found that there were 100 cans. So when we find the difference between 140 and 100, we see that there are 40 cans so we can add that the sum that I found is 40 fewer cans than what Rachel says. Now let's look at part C. Is Rachel's statement reasonable? How do you know? And they do give us an opportunity to think. They say, uh, when you decide an answer is reasonable, the quantities and the operations have to make sense. So we can answer this question to say no, the sum Rachel found was much greater than the sum I found, since 44 is six less than 50, and 53 is just three more than 50, I know that 100 is a more reasonable sum. Let's look at the next page, page 255, under Step It Out, part two. A toy store has 283 toys for sale. There are 69 board games. Hector says that there are about 215 toys that are not board games. Is Hector's statement reasonable? Use mental math to decide. Okay, part A asks us about how many toys are for sale. Make 283 a friendly number and so they have an equation here where they've written 283 subtracting something will make this more friendly so if you'd like to pause and try to make this a more friendly number yourself and come back you're welcome to do that um, or you can follow along with me 
So I show that 283 would be easier for me to compute if I took away the ones column, which is the three. So I'm going to say 283 take away three, and I know that will leave me with 280. Now I'm going to look at part B. About how many board games are there? Make 69 a friendly number. And so they have 69 plus something will make this a friendly number. Again, if you would like to pause and try this part on your own, you may do so. When I take a look at this number, I know that if I add one more number, that's going to make this a um, 70, which is much easier for me to add or subtract if needed. Now we will look at part C. Using the friendly numbers, what equation can you write to solve the problem? Well, using our friendly numbers, we would put 280 as the amount of toys, and then we're going to take away the amount of board games, which we said our friendly number would be 70. So this is a little easier for us to compute in our minds, 280 minus 70. So if you'd like to pause and solve this problem, and when you come back, you should find that your answer would be 210. So that would be the amount of toys that are not board games. Now let's look at part D. About how many toys are not board games? Well, we said it was about 210. So we can look at part E. Is Hector's statement reasonable? And we need to explain. And again, Hector said that he thought there were about 215 toys that were not board games. So he was saying that that would be 215, which is pretty close to 210. So we can answer, yes, Hector's statement is reasonable. Hector's statement is reasonable because 215 is close to 210, which is the difference that I found. If you would like to go back and rewatch this video, you may do so, and you can pause along the way at any time as needed.